Andy, why does the nuclear industry specify low cobalt stainless steels? Well, cobalt occurring in its natural environment is perfectly harmless. Uh, but unfortunately, in some nuclear plant, cobalt can be converted into a particular type of cobalt called cobalt-60. And the cobalt-60 is itself um, a radioactive species. It emits gamma radiation. So it's particularly harmful to human health and to workers in the nuclear uh, power station. This means that the nuclear industry often specifies stainless steels with very low levels of cobalt to minimise this risk. And, and when did this issue first come to light? This issue has been known about for a long time, actually since the uh, start of the civil nuclear power industry, so probably for around 40 or 50 years now. Um, it's um, becoming more relevant in the UK as we are looking to uh, uh, look to build more nuclear power stations and we haven't built some for quite some time now. So it's a particular pertinent issue for the uh, UK supply chain. So what steps do you as a steel mill have to take in order to produce these steels? Well, um, most standard stainless steels actually can contain up to around half a percent of cobalt and most of the specifications we are seeing are requiring cobalt levels of uh, around 0.2% maximum or even as low as 0.05% maximum. This means that we can't use our standard uh, method of manufacture which involves the use of a lot of recycling of scrap. Instead, we have to use uh, special sources of nickel that contain a low level of residual cobalt. And this has implications on, on the cost of production and on the lead time for manufacture. And do the low cobalt levels have a knock-on effect elsewhere, such as uh, corrosion resistance or weldability or formability? Uh, no, actually, from a fabricator's point of view, there are very few additional uh, considerations with regard to fabrication. Uh, the main uh, consideration is, is the, perhaps the extra lead time associated with procuring the steel and the fact that it's not an, an off-the-shelf item, uh, typically from a uh, stockist. So, final question. What message would you have then for the industry as we look to a potential nuclear renaissance in the UK? Well, the nuclear renaissance in the UK is a very exciting prospect for the uh, whole of the stainless steel industry. And whilst there are some more general requirements for stainless steels, when there is a specific requirement for a low cobalt stainless steel, then it's very important to engage with the uh, suppliers of that steel at an early stage, because a, speci a special batch of steel will no doubt have to be made for a uh, particular project.